What's up, what's up? I'm Samuel LeVon. Y'all, before we get started, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, comment, share, you know, what, you know, all of that good stuff. But, you know, today we're going to have to talk about something that is really important. Because it just seems like no matter what is happening in the world, some people just don't get it. <laughs> so, first of all, I'm just going to say loud and clear, I have never been interested in The Bachelor, ever, and I'm still not. But this one happens to be a bit different. Or is it? <laughs> anyway, here's the thing about the new Bachelor. The new Bachelor is unlike any other Bachelor before. He's black. Oh my God, you don't say. Well, here we are. Dealing what we as black people always have to deal with, which is racism. And, you know, we have, um, his name is Matt, which is the, the Bachelor. I don't know his last name. This is how much I don't watch The Bachelor. I'm actually checking his name now. I'm assuming that it is Matt James is his name. He's the the first black bachelor that the bachelor has ever had. So, he's on this show trying to find his lady and it's quite clear that there's been some racism going on. So, we have Rachel Kirkunnell. Kirkunnell. That's her last name. Y'all, just the last name tells me everything I need to know. <laughs> So come to find out, you know, as people do in the in social media, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever they can find whatever they need to find, they found some racist shit that, you know, it probably wasn't easy to fucking find. <laughs> Probably wasn't even easy to, probably wasn't as hard to fucking find, you know. <laughs> but they find that she had went to an antebellum party. Now, before we go any further, let's read what an antebellum party is. Antebellum parties, then, <laughs> as if they're still not what they are then now. <laughs> they the same shit. It's the same shit. They, they, then and now. <laughs> antebellum parties then and now are celebrations of the antebellum era South and of the Confederacy. You know, maybe I should read it in my old uh, antebellum voice. And throwing and going to these parties. Attendees are essentially fetishizing and paying homage to the Confederate side and the overt violent racism of the era. Sounds about white to me. <laughs> anyway, um, what else is new? I mean, who's shocked? Really? I don't even fucking watch The Bachelor. And this is how big this shit has gotten because of racism or maybe the lack of 
understanding what it is. Here's my thing about Chris. What what is his name? Chris Harrison. Here, here's my thing about Chris Harrison. Dude, you have been hosting The Bachelor for how many fucking years? It's been two decades. Here's here's the issue that I have. Why aren't y'all changing out the the host? I mean, I felt like maybe this was like a show y'all could have done years ago to maybe explore what racism and all that is. And this is this is quite a clear picture of how many black men will glorify the white woman and look at what she's doing like i'm not saying you can't be in a in a interracial relationship that's not what i'm saying at all but we have to understand that sometimes even if you guys are sexually or physically attracted to each other sometimes i can i can't get rid of the idea of that Master also fucks his, fucked his slaves. The master's wife also went out and fucked the slaves. They were, she was attracted to him, right? But she didn't see him as a human being. <sighs> and then, you know, Chris Harrison says that he's going to step aside to let Emmanuel Ancho be the new, I guess, host. But why did it take all of this for you to decide to step aside? Like, I... I and then you go on to Extra to talk to the girl, the black girl who was the Bachelorette, to basically demean her experience, her experiences as a black woman in America, to demean... You went on there to basically tell everybody who's black to shut the fuck up. It's not that big of a deal. They just went to a party. They were 18 years old. It's it's not racism. Calm down. And it's calling basically black people the woke police. I mean, you been sleep though. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> you know, I don't think there's really much to talk about or to understand. Like, it's the same story all the time. White person is either, you know, at this point, I'm not even gonna say ignorant anymore. White, white person does something racist. White person pretends like he doesn't know what's going on. White person gets called out. White person makes an apology. White person says, I'm getting counseling. It's the same story every fucking time. Let's just stop. Like, how many times do we have to keep going through this to be like, you know, racism is wrong, right? You know, like, nobody gives a fuck about your apology, Chris. We don't care. Because your apology means nothing. It means nothing. And you, y'all bringing in Emmanuel Ancho is like fucking stupid as fuck. It's like, man, just finish the season out, shut the fuck up, because that's what y'all about to do anyway. And let's be real. Matt James, you about to pick a white girl. It's all good. We already know how it's going to end. <laughs> That it's going to end the same way it always ends with a white girl. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm so over it. The Bachelor is going to still continue on through all this bullshit. And what? I guess next year they're going to have a Latin Bachelor. They're going to have an Asian Bachelor. They're going to have a Middle Eastern Bachelor. Y'all don't give a fuck. So quit acting like it. <laughs> anyway, if you care about me, go and stream my music. This is my album called The 10-Year Collage. After this, this, <laughs> you know, you'll see my video called Member Dad. Anyway, I don't give a fuck about The Bachelor. I don't give a fuck about none of it because 
The Bachelor proved that it was racist 20 years in the making. <laughs> like, where? Who didn't see it? <laughs> That's why black people didn't watch it. I mean, period. Like, nobody's watching. I don't know one black person who watches The Bachelor. I'll wait. I don't, I never, anytime The Bachelor came on, I always turned. I, I never sat and watched a, The Bachelor. I couldn't even tell you who The Bachelors were throughout any decade, any year that it was on. I don't even, this is the only one that I know of only because of the controversy behind it. Anyway, I don't give a fuck. Matt James gonna pick a white girl. It's it, it's gonna end the way it's always ended, like I just said. Anyway, this is my song called Remember That. Go ahead and stream it on Spotify. Go stream it on Apple. Go stream it on any other platform that you wanna stream it on. Y'all, I'm there. <laughs> Peace out. I'm seven years old. I remember that time that you threw me away. I remember that time I couldn't be in your space. I remember that time that you was out of line. I remember that time, so I'm going for mine. I remember that time that you threw me away. I remember that time I couldn't be in your space. I remember that time that you was out of line. I remember that time, so I'm going for mine. I was a shop boy, had no voice. I was quiet when y'all was making a lot of noise. I was invisible, I ain't have no choice. You ain't seen me then, now you scream, we see you, boy. Cause you see me pull up in a Rolls Royce. You can't touch this MC Hammer voice. Simon says, get to the bag. What you moving for? Say what the fuck you at? Don't be a groupie in a hoopie. Talking about, don't you remember when you knew me? My mind is playing tricks on my memory. Don't remember you being this nice to me. You ain't have a problem being the enemy. So keep the same energy. Keep the same energy. Don't be getting close to me. You won't try, and I'm the judge. Shh. You niggas need to hush. Nah, I ain't got no grudge. I'm just letting you know what's up. I just remember that. I just, I just remember that. When you tried to play me to the back. I just remember that. I just, I just remember that. Nah, no, motherfucker, I ain't never gonna forget. I just remember that. I just, I just remember that. When you tried to play me to the back. I just remember that. I just, I just remember that. Nah, no, motherfucker, I ain't never gonna forget. I remember that time that you threw me away. I remember that time I couldn't be in your space. I remember that time that you was out of line. I remember that time, so I'm going for mine. I remember that time that you threw me away. I remember that time I couldn't be in your space. I remember that time that you was out of line. I remember that time, so I'm going for mine. I ain't nothing brand new, just being true To all the shit that you said that I couldn't do Now you're looking at me like I'm a fool I was for fucking with you Be like Martin and run, tell that And when you do, make sure you give them fast Make sure you don't leave nothing out Make sure you know what you're talking about Tell them that I'm doing it and doing it while You other motherfuckers trying to figure it out I know that you wanna slow me down But sway how? I'm the homie, you the clown And, and you can't fuck with me now I said get to the bag Cause you know homie don't play that <laughs> Tried to play me to the back. I just remember that. I just, I just remember that. No motherfucker, I ain't never gonna forget. I just remember that. I just, I just remember that. When you tried to play me to the back, I just remember that. I just, I just remember that. No motherfucker, I ain't never gonna forget. I remember that time that you threw me away. I remember that time I couldn't be in your space. I remember that time that you was out of line. I remember that time, so I'm going for mine. I remember that time that you threw me away. I remember that time I couldn't be in your space. I remember that time that you was out of line. I remember that time, so I'm going for mine.
knows? When I sit back and think about it all, I really lost a lot of people. People that I consider friends, walked away from me in my darkest moments, lost family members who didn't see me as good enough, people that I thought actually cared about me. Damn, I lost a lot.